What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. A few days ago, I believe Dr. Umar Johnson showed up to Little Yachty's podcast, which I felt was uh, very interesting. The podcast is called A Safe Place Podcast. Uh, kudos to whoever made up that name. I mean, I, you really thought about that, <laughs> but I'm being facetious. So that's what he wanted to call the podcast. God bless you. A safe space. Let us deal with Dr. Umar Johnson in this school. Dr. Umar Johnson felt that black people were not giving him enough money a few years back to make this school. I want to go ahead on and play that clip and then I'm going to come back. I'm gracious, but I'm not content because I know y'all got a lot more to give me than some $250,000. When Darren Wilson killed Michael Brown, white folks gave him $300,000 in three weeks for his defense. And Dr. Umar Johnson is trying to build a state-of-the-art school for black boys that y'all all know I need. And after six months, I only got $250,000. So now, what I'd like to do is I want to uh, discuss if it is all possible, Dr. Umar Johnson talking about this new school he's going to build and how important he is to black America. Let's play the clip. One of my major haters wanted to be a life coach, wanted to be a psychologist, wanted to be a public speaker. Didn't work out for them. If you study a lot of my haters, they, they wanted to be in or are in the mental health field, but they're not doctors of clinical psychology as I am. So a lot of it is jealousy and envy. And to be honest with you, I've been so consistent in my work that I think our people can see through it now because I ain't been around one or two years, right? You take you as an artist, right? Mm -hmm. When Little Yachty first popped off that first single, that first album pop, a lot of people said he's just the one hit yeah. wonder. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. But once they saw your longevity, yeah. it was they had to back off. It's the same thing with me. Once they see, nah, this brother's been saving kids for 20 years. Even This ain't, this ain't nothing new. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And here's the bigger thing. The school about to open this year. So I ain't got to argue with nobody. Because once them doors open and people walking in and see that this wasn't no scam, right. case closed. Because I, I was about to say, like, a lot of people be saying, um, like, well, stuff I'd be saying and be like, oh, Dr. Uh, Umar, he just talk about, like, helping black people and shit, but there's no proof of him like, actually helping a black community. And this is what I want you to ask them. Who has saved more black boys from the school to prison pipeline walking this planet Earth than Dr. Umar? I want you to ask them. Who has educated more black parents about mental health and education in this country so they can walk into these meetings and defend their children from these unfair uh, learning disability and ADHD accusations? Who has saved more black boys from being drugged on Ritalin and Adderall and Concerta and Cycler and Metadate? There's no black psychologist. So let me let me deal with this again. I, I don't want to be mean, but I'm going to talk about this in the best way possible. Dr. Umar Johnson, in my honest opinion, lives in a world largely in which I feel does not exist. This is not just him. Many people in the uh, pro-black sector, uh, the back to Africa sector, the black community at large, they live life in a delusional city called nobody knows. Because there is no way that somebody can be this stupid and this Fascious and dumb to think the black community supports him after all of these years in which he has not delivered upon what he said he would. Now he's saying, well, when I get my school out this year, then they're going to finally realize what I got going on here. He made also another another point that, um, you know, he's saved more black boys, which you cannot that cannot be confirmed or denied. What can be confirmed and denied is that you didn't do what you said after asking for money, after not looking at any level of accountability, after knowing that you're not about you're not somebody who's serious. We're not dealing with your level of f that's the problem. And all of those who support Dr. Umar Johnson continue to make him just as unaccountable and a little immature boy as he's always been. Dr. Umar Johnson is immature like a little boy. He's more immature than those boys he's supposed to be helping. 
This is something that we don't want to deal with with this brother. But this brother is a damn near 50 year old child who can express himself in ways that many of us cannot regarding our issues. But nonetheless, not a man. He's not a man. He's a big boy, not a man. And when it comes to the level of unaccountability and being irresponsible, of being a flat out liar, nobody is better than this guy. And blaming the people and believing that the people somehow, some way feel that they now believe you because of all of your work. No, your hardcore fans look at you in that way. The people who are stupid enough to continue to support you may see you like that. The people who come up and, and show up to your lectures feel like that. But oh boy, have you lost so much support. And the reason why you lost some support, it's not because people are hating on you. That's the immature thing to say. Somebody's hating on you. I've always heard this, you know, people jealous of me. That's what they're hating on. And some people can be jealous of, 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 of Dr. Umar. That is, it, it, it can be true indeed. But the reality is, is that when you're terrible, when you're a liar, when you're a crook, when you're not being uh, truthful about who you are, this is the situation that we're talking about. And, 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 and see, this is what black men pull out those stops on Dr. Umar, okay? This is what Dr. Umar does, and he largely can't deal with these arguments. And then once you deal with those arguments, people want to be upset. And what is there to be upset about? Outside of the fact that you just didn't do what you're talking about. Outside of the fact that you didn't deliver on what you said you would. Outside of the fact that largely you are a joke because you are based on your own actions. It has nothing to do with people not believing you and you just talking about all of this. No, deal with what the people are talking about. The people are not lying. I remember when Dr. Umar Johnson was hot as fish grease in June of 2015, when I came into the knowledge of who Dr. Umar Johnson was, okay? When I came into the knowledge of who Dr. Umar Johnson was, I said, wow, this is a very powerful brother. Then there was the conscious stripper debacle. And I was like, Oh my goodness, here we go with the, you know, with this brother. I hope that this is, uh, this is not true. So then it came to, you know, his own level of responsibility as to how he would respond to it. And the first thing that he said was he was celibate. He first said he didn't know the lady or that he didn't do what she said he did. That was more or less a thing like the lady's lying. It didn't happen. Then it went from there to, okay, it did happen and she's a hater, and he went and started castigating the lady for exposing her. Then he went and said that I've lost a big donation over this lady, which that told me already what kind of man he was gonna be. So you're blaming this lady after you slept with her, and she exposed you for who you are. Now, you absolved yourself. Here comes the particular brothers during that time. Well, he's a single man, you know, he's a single man. I, I don't know why he can't do what he's going to do, but it's not the fact that he's a single man or not, but it's the fact that he said he was celibate, right? So once we got to know that's who he was, okay? Once we got to find out that's who he was, then we understood quite frankly that this was an issue with the guy. This was a guy that was a, 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 a beta male boy, no matter how much he wolfed and talked tough. So guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. The episode of Slavery Junk. Put your fire.